Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Shah Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can set up a global navigation in your Surf UI application using the navigation stack in iOS 16. So you can see currently that I am using Xcode 14. So make sure that you're using Xcode 14 and iOS 16 because navigation stack is only available in iOS 16. So what I want to do is to set up a global configuration, global engine for my navigation, just like you can do it in React application or even Flutter applications. So how do we get started with that? The first thing I want to do is to create some sort of a models. So let's go ahead and create a model called movie. We will call it hashable. And let's just say that the movie only has one property called name of the movie, and that's it. Apart from that, we will have reviews for the movie. So we'll create review. And for the review, we'll just collect the text of the review, and that's it. Now, if I want to create navigation, a global navigation, where I can go to list all the movies, or I can go and select a particular movie, or I can go and add a movie or see all the reviews for the movie. How do I get started? The first thing I'm going to do is change the content view and probably call it something else. How about we call this movie list screen? Just so that it is a little bit more descriptive as what it does. Now, in order to go to the movie list screen, which by default we are actually going because we can see over here that the global navigation app, the starting point, is actually taking you over there. All right. Now, if I want to go to a particular detail of the movie, if I want to go and see the reviews for the movie and things like that, how can I create that kind of a navigation stack? I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything inside a navigation stack. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up the navigation destination. Now, instead of passing in over here for the movie or things like that, what we are going to do is create a particular route. So I'm going to go ahead and create a file or basically an enum called route. And over here, I will define all the different routes that I'm trying to create. So I will have a list route, which is going to list all the movies. I will have a detail route, which will take in a movie object, which means that the detail is of a particular movie. We, we can call it reviews, all right, where you can pass an array of review and things like that. And the navigation destination can now work on the actual route. So we can go ahead and say, if the type is route, we are going to get a particular route and we can perform a switch on the route. And now we can perform the actual navigation part. So if the route is list, and you can come up with a better name, I guess, we will show movie list screen. That will be kind of like our home screen. If the route is detail, somebody is going to pass you a movie and we will show a detail screen, which we currently don't have, right? So we're going to create that movie detail screen where you can pass in the movie. If somebody is going to say reviews and somebody is going to pass you an array of reviews, then movie review list and pass in the reviews. Now, a couple of different screens we don't really have, like the movie detail screen, movie review list screen. So let's go ahead and create that. Ideally, you should create that in a separate file, but since those screens will not really have anything, I'm just going to create it in the same one file. So this will be our movie detail screen. And in order to go to that, you will pass in a movie. Same thing with a review list screen, which will be a basically a view. And we will simply go ahead and pretty much return the text 
which is saying review list screen and somebody is going to pass in an array of reviews. Let's go back and now let's go ahead and build this application. Okay, movie review list. So probably I think it's called something else, right? We're calling it review list screens. Okay. There we go. Okay. So a couple of different issues going on over here. This is saying that the instance method navigation required route conforms to hashable. So we need to make sure that our movie and our review is actually hashable, which both of them are actually hashable. All right. So let's see what exactly we need to do. We simply go to the route and we mark this as hashable. Okay. And there we go. We have now set up. Oops. Let's actually go back. I don't know what I did over here. There we go. It's actually building. Uh, since this is beta, sometime you will see these kind of weird errors. Now we have set up our global navigation. Our navigation is controlled from one and only one point only. And let's see if that actually works. All right. So let's go back to the movie detail screen or the movie list screen. So this is our list screen. You can see that the list screen is not really displaying anything right now. It's just displaying an image and a text. But let's go ahead and display some sort of a list. List. And list of what? Well, list of anything. It doesn't really matter what the list is. All right. I mean, if you want to create an actual list of movies, I guess you can do that. That's fine too. I mean, I can do that for you right here. We can create movies. Movie with a particular name. And I'm just going to say Spider-Man. I have not watched any of the Spider-Man. I think I only watched the first one. And I only watched the first of the Batman. Okay. So now we can go through this. Movies. We will get access to the movie. The movie doesn't really have any identifying thing. So right now we're just going to use the name. And I can now use a navigation link with a particular name of the movie. And the value will be dot detail well not really dot detail but it will be route dot detail and passing in the movie and that's the important part that is going to allow us to perform the navigation now if you're using xcode previews like i'm using then it's really not going to work because you can see that in the previews right over here the movie list screen is not surrounded by the navigation stack so let's go ahead and add a navigation stack. And we also need to get all the navigation destination part of it. So I can probably go ahead and copy it from here to over here. So that it knows about the navigation destination part. And now we can go and you can see that it goes to the detail screen. In the detail screen, we can remove this and simply show the name of the movie with a little bit of a bigger font. So you can see that it is actually passing. There we go. All right. Now, if you want to go to a review screen, so let's say that we are over here and somehow you want to go to the review screen. Let's go and put it in a V stack. I can go ahead and add a navigation link, reviews, and we will go to route dot reviews, passing in the review. So hopefully we will have something like this, but I don't have it right now. So I'll just cheat and pass in a single review with a text. Good movie. And the reviews can then display those reviews in a list in anything you want. So I can go ahead and edit that all out also. Now, instead of using a text, probably create some sort of ID for the review. You know what I mean. Review.text. Now I can go over here. I can go and I can see all the reviews and everything is working great. 
So now we have created a global route management system which allows us for one screen, which is our app file over here, to control all the different routes. Just like that you do in a React app using the React router or in Flutter application by doing the route configuration. So hope you like this and hope you will start using this in your application. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I actually just launched a brand new course called Building Augmented Reality Apps and Reality Kit and AR Kit, and it just launched today. So it is 6.5 plus hour course, and it covers everything you need to know to get started with creating your own augmented reality applications with Reality Kit. You can see all the different sections, which includes physics, measurement app, light, reality composer, face and object tracking persistent, and even AR Geo Anchor. So this is an amazing course that will get you started with Reality Kit. Check out the YouTube description for the discount course and the links. Thank you so much.